Hey team, welcome back. This is My Life, My Money Media, and today is talk on inflation, and this is number three. I'm gonna show you how can you win from inflation, how to safeguard yourself. Instead of your money losing money over time and products getting higher and higher over time, how can we have our money keep up with life? One way to do it is buying assets. Uh, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket. It cash flows. It at a increase in value or pay your dividend over time. That's how you keep up with inflation. So imagine this, I'll just go clear all this damn money off, hold on. Ugh. All right, imagine this, your first year, instead of putting your first year dollar in the bank, we take this dollar and we buy a, just say a stock. And this stock right here pays you 5%. So in year one, you put a dollar in, you got a dollar worth of stock. If you cash out that stock, you could buy this $1 uh, silver coin if you want to. But let's watch what happens as the years go by. In year two, this stock at 5% is now worth $1.05. If you wanted to purchase this corn, you could because the corn costs a dollar and two cents, but your stock is worth a dollar and five cents. You could cash that out and buy that corn and have some change left over. Let's see what happens on year three. We go to year three, still at the stock, still at 5%, but now it's worth a dollar and 10 cents. The price of this good is worth a dollar and four cents. You could buy, you could cash out the stock to buy that if you wanted to. In year four, it's the same principle. In year five, it's the same principle. So instead of your money losing its purchasing power over time with a performing assets, it keeps up with inflation or bypasses inflation. But I do have a warning. Before you buy these assets, make sure your emergency savings fund or your three to six months or a year worth of expenses, it's, uh, you have that set. So, but yes, this is how, this is one way to keep up with inflation. Now, a lot of uh, businesses do a little tricky and shady shit. You could take uh, Apple and Samsung, for example. I don't have my phones out here because my phone is up there recording, but Apple and Samsung, Samsung, they would sell a product one year for $500 and they kept getting $500 year after year. Then out of nowhere, the price jumped up to a thousand. That's not inflation, that is greed. And the only way we can stop that is the consumer not buying those prices. You did, if, we take, if we take down the demand, most likely the company will drop prices or raise prices. They may drop prices to get more people coming to the door, or they may raise prices to have uh, a bigger margin so you'll, leave, you'll need less people come to the door. Instead of selling two, you can sell one and still make the same amount of money. But guys, these are some tactics and things we can use to cut back inflation. Y'all guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later.